Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to get the difference between two array. Okay. So we will be getting two array, which is first array and second array from user, which is again an integer type. And our responsibility is to get the difference. If you see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you see 7, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is the common element between these two array. So, we don't want this common element. We want the distinct element between this array. Okay, first array. So, basically we want to uh, remove the data available into this second array from the first array. And then we are going to get the output as a 1, 2, 3, 4. Got it? So, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the our output where we are removing five, where we are removing the element available into from the second array okay so we have the two array ready where our main program is there where from where we are providing the data to the api so our responsibility is to get the api here dot get difference get difference okay get diff okay so here we are passing two array as a argument which is called first array again as integer type and the second array which is as again as an integer type and accordingly we have to create the method here okay now we got the first array which is array 1 and the second array which is array 2 and both are as a integer type we got as a user input now what we will do is we'll just secure the user input so we will say first array okay and then we will say this one as a second array okay good now as soon as we get the user input our responsibility is to check whether we received input correctly or not so we will be having one log called user input so we know how to print the arrays element without using for loop so arrays dot two string where we are passing first array as a argument and accordingly we are going to pass second array okay good now let's run this program as a java application to make sure that we receive the user input correctly and which is here if you see if you match this data and this data both are same means we are receiving the user input correctly which is good okay now this array I want to convert as a list arrays dot as list okay and here we are going to pass first array as a argument and then this is the second array good now since we converted both the array into the list so our responsibility is to assign this value into the list itself okay so integer first list this one okay same as integer second list good second list now we are going to print again this list Make sure that we converted arrays to list correctly. So list element. Okay. Now we are going to print the first list. And same as we are going to print the second list. Okay. Now let's run this program as a Java application. You see we got the user input which is we are we are getting from the array and this is the list input where we are converting array to list element and both the value is same 
so we are doing till now right we are in good direction now now we want to create one set object which is again as a integer type okay first set equal to new has set okay and here we are going to pass integer as a argument good now this list element i want to convert this into the set so if we are going to print this first set just print have some log saying that set element let's run this program as a java application if you see so we we created the set object in that set object we loaded the first list value and first list value is this one only so in set object we able to load the set value like that which is good now okay now what we want to do is we want to perform one operation called remove all okay so how we are going to perform the remove all operations okay so what we will do is we have the set method in that we have one api called remove uh, remove all which is accepting collection as a argument so here i will pass second list as a argument sorry here this i will delete now this i also turn off okay so see what i did is i created the set object where i have loaded the list value so now i am loading only the data available into the first list if you see here i am loading only the first list now this set contains the first list value as you see here. So we are good now. Now we want to do the remove all operations. So we got the this set object. On top of that we are just requesting for the remove all where we are passing second list as a argument. Okay. So if you print now your first set okay just put some log saying that after remove from set okay if you run this program you will get the difference if you see one two three four which is only we are expecting here good so that's our target is to get the set okay so we cannot get array to set directly that's why we first converted array to list and from list to set okay now question is why i have i have to convert the list to set or array to set okay since this is set the only set creating the set instance is our end goal just because of we want to perform the removal operation where I have to pass the two collection as a argument and which is here as a list. That's why I want this one to be performed. Okay. Now one twist here is if you pass here nine, okay, nine. So you will get one, two, three, four only as a argument uh, output. One, two, three, four. Reason because is we want to delete, we want to get the common element between two two uh, two arrays okay so if you see five six seven eight is available here five six seven eight that we are deleting but nine is not available in a so this is not a common element right so you want to get the common element which is not available into the set a that's the reason nine is not getting printed we want to delete the all the data from array a which available in array b also means second array also this is very simple logic okay so we you need to understand in this way you have first array you have to second array you have to delete the 
all second array data from the first array and we are getting this as a output okay so this is our expected output which is good right yeah thanks for watching this video